So we got the bill mounted on the trailer and everything ended up being real nice. So I uh, originally hauled this with it ratchet strapped down and I thought I could come up with something a little better without drilling any more holes into the frame, but I have these really long U-bolts with a piece of oak and it holds it very tight. So that ain't going anywhere. Uh, I'll probably put some ratchet straps if I go on the road just on the in case. But the, uh, the way we designed the trailer is kind of upside down from everyone else's. My, uh, my angle iron is uh, kind of upside down. We actually mounted them to the cross section reason why we did this is because all this hardware up underneath it can be tightened without having to drill holes inside any of the angle so especially like the sections where you have to seam them up I mean there's four bolts there at the seams for the bunks and as you can see there's a plate underneath to seam them and I didn't have to drill any holes here because it's just uh, open space but then where I have my cross sections, here, is where I bolted the frame. So angle iron is an idea for trailers, but when you stack two pieces of angle on top of each other like that, it's very rigid. Um, and and it's, it turned out real nice. And you can see there's a, there's a little bit of a gap. And that's because I mounted them on the cross sections. So, works out real nice. We'll eventually put lights and stuff. I made the trailer the exact dimensions, uh, the length and the width of the actual track. I think it's like 234 inches long and like, uh, what was it, 30 and a half or something like yeah. that. So, <clears throat> and I set my jacks up in the same spot that Woodland Mill sets them up on their trailer. And then I do use the tongue jack to give it a little extra stability, although it really doesn't need it. I do want to add here that we had to drive about an hour from our house to the nearest city, which is Lexington, Kentucky, to pick up the sawmill because we live on a really curvy back road in the middle of nowhere. A semi-truck could not deliver this directly to our house. Okay, three hours in so far. We've gotten the track put together. Uh, everything's good there. I'll, I'll tighten down the bolts later. Um, right now, I'm working on the actual sawmill head. Um, so this is this is actually extremely heavy. So once I get this built, I'll have to have the tractor come in here and actually lift this out of here. Okay. But so far, so good. Hopefully, everything works out. Is it easy to assemble based on the directions that they gave you in the manual? Yeah. So far, it's pretty pretty easy okay. yeah, no no issues yet but good the, we won't see the issues until we go to put the saw head on there and that's when I anticipate leveling issues and that's why you leave all your bolts loose we're getting close getting the saw head built so I flip it around we got some more of the uh, framing on it this is how we're, we'll hoist it up right here these little hoists right here
It's in the garage and on the trailer, and the jacks are down. We're getting the sawmill out for the first time tonight. That looks good, babe. Thanks. Leveling out the trailer. We're using this laser level to level the trailer. We have used this a lot on our house build. And now we're going to use it every time we level out the trailer. Just a couple minutes to get this level. Let's see how she rides. Looks smooth. Let me run her a couple times, check for level. We're going to attempt to saw up our first log here. So let's see what happens. This is the first time I've ever used it. Good. on that. Probably about a quarter inch. Wow. Perfect. A little over a quarter. A little over a quarter. A little over a quarter. Wow. Take right. off all the sides of this board. Let's see how square it ended up. Okay. We got uh, two and three quarter. Two and three quarter. By five, two and three quarter, two and three quarter, and by five. That's that's pretty good. So it's perfect. That's that's insane how good that is. Huh. What's time, your initial thoughts of your first time using the sawmill? Well, it's actually a heck of a lot easier than I was expecting. So I was reading a lot of comments on on a group on Facebook, and everybody was having a lot of trouble, and I was getting a little bit worried. Um, and it actually ended up being real easy. So pretty simple, putting it together. I mean, it took me a little bit because I, I built a trailer and uh, I had to make sure it was fastened to the trailer nice and tight and, and square, but. But all together, how many hours do you think it took you to assemble it? Probably, I'd say a good eight. Eight, okay. A good eight hours, solid. And you followed the manual pretty much to a T. To a T, except for where I hooked it into my trailer. Okay. I still left all bolts loose. Even the track I left loose when we set it up there with the tractor. Uh, we made sure I squared this first and then squared up my track with it. And I mean, it, it worked out because this thing's pretty solid. You know. It's great. We are definitely going to get a lot of use out of this. It leveled real nice. You see how fast we got to level it. That's a lot easier than when the track wasn't bolted to it because we had to shim the track. I built the trailer, it wasn't perfectly square. I had to shim it in some areas, but it, it's nice. I'm happy with it. And we've got three little boys this one, the baby, and our four year old over there. So we will definitely have a treehouse building project here very soon. <laughs> 